tonight, huh? Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous tonight. This is my first time uh, with a lady who's first time. Yeah. <laughs> now, you flew, which looked like you flew all the way cross country to be on the show. Sure enough, sure enough. I got a hot date with 20,000 of my closest friends at the uh, Meadowlands in Jersey. It's my birthday tonight. T uh <laughs> We didn't know what to get you or who to get you for your birthday. <laughs> but, but what I've heard, so there's a little birthday cake and we wish you well. Thank you very much. Or should we say, know. buenas, <laughs> buenas birthday. How do you say in Spanish? Uh, you know, feliz aniversario, I think you see, is what yeah. it is. You know, rock and roll hasn't hurt me. I'm about to be 17 years old. <laughs> Dress because you're always so underplayed. You know, I mean, you're a simple boy with a dream. Yeah. What is this? This is Savage Currentry. Well, this is this is all part. This is all part of the same ensemble here. I was going to wear this to the. I was, was going to wear this to the royal wedding, but the uh, invitation never came. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. This is Me what I call my Jesus ensemble. I put it on her because oh Jesus. <laughs> what do you wear in private life? As little as possible, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a question of, you know, fantasies. You know, you're going to make up your fantasies and you can dress however you want in rock and roll, you know? You decide one day that you're going to be the Lone Ranger and tomorrow we're going to be Buck Rogers. Where are we going? But now, what do you wear when you want to be incognito? Sometimes, well, you, don't you want to just walk down the street and not have people recognize you? Well, as you know, Joan, you know, a lot of people, are, they throw themselves at me. They're going to tear at your clothes and offer sexual favors. And look who I'm telling, huh? You know, <laughs> it never stops with me. I can't go to the laundromat anymore. Oh. Yes, <laughs> But, I, you know, I have the best of both worlds. I can put my hair up under the hat and I can sneak around a little bit, you know, and then I do my research. I see it here. I sing about it there. Now, what about women? They're just all over you because you're straight and you're single and you're great looking. Well, you yeah, must be just coming over that transom. You know, it's wild out on the road, you know, and there are all kinds of women out there, Joan. I know that's what you're leading up to. There are all kinds of women. There are women there who will do anything on the road, anything. What I do you mean anything? I saw two girls doing some of the crew's laundry the other night. Crew's <laughs> <laughs> laundry? You can it do anything. It's like, you know, I'm looking for the fantasy girl. I'm looking for the fantasy girl. Somebody with... Joan Rivers' sense of humor, somebody with Cher's style, and Pee Wee Herman's sense of makeup. <laughs> now, do they re How are you going to have a relationship with a girl? You're on the road all the time. Have you ever had a serious relationship? Of course I have. And what of do you call a serious relationship? Two nights? Mm. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. What do you, what do you call it? Uh, Till death do us part or a different time zone? Yeah. It's very <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 kooky out on the road. You try and maintain a stable relationship, but you know, there's all kinds of people. I bought the land. I got the Indians, you know. And I remember marching into Billy the bass player's room the other night in the hotel. I sat down at the end of his bed and I said, "Billy, there are two things to watch out for on the road here, and you're in bed with both of them." <laughs> You, what does your mother think of all this? I think pretty you're a nice highly. boy, I, I, brought up. I, I yeah. think she's thinking pretty highly of it. You know, you got to go for, you know, what you're going to do the best, and you make the most out of it. How do you turn off? What do you do? Because it's crazy. It's 20,000 people screaming. It's excitement. It's, it's so, the music, everything. Where do you go? You say, i got to be left alone. i got to be left alone. Well, you find your space, you know, dependent on where you are. You know, even before a show, there's always a quiet little moment before the show, you know. Uh, you, even when the lights go down and the band runs on stage, you know. Uh, we've been on the road for a month and a half. Now, when the band runs on stage, I get down on my knees. I make, make a little prayer. I say, hey, thanks for the audience and thanks for the band and thanks for everything what I got. Uh, but, you know, for the first month and a half, a little voice would come over my shoulder and say, we're in Boston. And go like this, you know, or wherever we were, you know. And for the first month and a half, I thought I was talking to God, you know. And, and I opened my eyes. It was Billy the bass player. <laughs> <laughs> what about the feud with Van Halen? Is there real? they have a big banner up now that says, at all their concerts, screw David Lee Roth. Now, I don't well, know, is that mean or is that a, a message to the girls? Well... <laughs> You know what, 
the, there's been a battle raging on back and forth between myself and Van Halen. You know, when I shook Edward Van Halen's hand over a year and a half ago, we both had a tear in our eye, and we said we have a career musical difference, like all bands, like all bands. And then several weeks later, I'm reading how he was forced to survive, to live a lie. You know, 12 years of Maserati after Rolex, after Lamborghini. <laughs> and on and on, man. And uh, now it's reached a, the proportions of a little bit comical proportions. So I just figure, fellas, you keep on raining, and I'll still be the parade. <laughs> A clip that you did, which they don't, they don't know who is in it, that's you. Because you are very, very funny if you're the one that I think you are. Well, we'll Do you want to set it up? We'll have to take a close look at this. Yeah. What we're about to see is the fabulous Picasso brothers. Right. And they're called the Picasso brothers because Picasso suggests fine art, high art, and brothers suggest pizza delivery. And what we do here is sort of a combination of the two. You have to decide which one was me and which one is Mr. Picasso. Okay, let's watch the clip right now. It's so funny. <laughs> Excuse the personal question, but aren't there some places you can't quite reach with a washcloth? Yeah! <laughs> hey, Mr. Picasso, you look great. You lose some weight. No, I gained 80 pounds! Hey, no fooling. Where are you hiding it? Yeah. Hey, you got some advice for my girls? Oh, yeah. Try the quad burger over at Earth! Are you going to make a movie? Well, Buck Picasso is more of a hallucination than anything else, and I guess he's my hallucination. Well, I hope you come back with lots of hallucinations. I know you got to fly all the way back to be at the Meadowlands tomorrow, and I thank you so much for thank what you, you did tonight. Thank you very much, Jim. How darling. Thank you. Thank you.